What's up guys? So today I'm going to give my thoughts on UFL. I've played about 25 or 30 hours across the two betas in the closed alpha. I'm a top 100 player on eFootball and I was top 100 back in FIFA 17 foot champ. So I do think I have a good idea of what it takes to make a good football game because that was the last good FIFA, FIFA 17. Uh, and I don't think UFL is close to being a good football game. And even if I had another one or two years to develop, I don't think it would reach an acceptable standard for what it's trying to do because... I actually don't understand what UFL is trying to do. I don't know why the game exists. When I was streaming my gameplay over the weekend, people were asking me, and a few times I said, I actually just don't know why this, uh, why UFL exists. I don't know what it's trying to do. Or I know what they said they were trying to do differently, but they haven't done anything different than FC, and in fact, they've just made a worse version. So I would describe UFL as, let's say, FIFA 13 or FIFA 14, but worse. It's a lot clunkier. It does, does less mechanics. I, I just think ga gaming has changed a lot since 2014. A lot of people like the football games back then, and I do think they were better and bare bones. I do think UFL is a bare bones game, which is a good thing for it, but they just, they've just they kind of botched the execution. But um, I also think gaming has changed, and a lot of the reason why people like Uf uh, FIFA back then was because players in general just weren't as good at the game, so there wasn't as many kind of... Uh, meta play styles i mean if you look at i know it's going off topic a little bit but if you look at games like PUBG and fortnite two battle royales that people loved at the start and then over time grew bored of them i don't really think it was the games getting stale i think it was just the skill level of the player base getting higher and making it not as fun and similar with call of duty the same thing happened with call of duty so i do think in a football game that still applies but you can still make a good football game if you hone in on making it skill based and the mechanics making sense which i think eFootball does an all right job of but i think fc24 does a bad job and then i think ufl is is right behind uf uh, or eafc i don't think it's good at all so if we're going to talk about specifically what i don't like about the game the two main things i have in my mind are well there's three actually there's dribbling interceptions and passing dribbling uh, sorry passing and interceptions are things that they could fix very quickly I think um, if they wanted to, I don't know what their mindset are around how their passing works at the moment and how their interceptions work at the moment is, but those are changes that it, even if they are terrible in the game at the moment, it's not a major worry because if they if the developers understand the problems with it, they can probably fix it pretty quickly. But dribbling in UFL is atrocious. It is the worst football game I've played for dribbling. Uh, ever even like pez 21 and 22 i didn't replay them i played fifa more because i thought the dribbling was terrible in pez 21 Um, i still would prefer the dribbling in that game where in the ufl and it's so disappointed because that was the main feedback i think people gave from the first beta was how bad dribbling was but in this one it's it's it just hasn't improved really at all Um. There is some nuance to that, though. I do think in the first beta, Ronaldo was just the best player in the game by a, a long shot. Nothing inherently wrong with that. I do think in this second beta, Messi's better. I think uh, he, he's he been the best player I used. I bought him and he, he was amazing. And I, I scored some good goals through dribbling with him. But I never felt like it was me that was dribbling well. I felt like it was my opponent defending poorly that let me score these goals through dribbling. Um, like When I'm playing eFootball, I can dribble at a high level against the best players in the world. And... They're good at defending, but I can still dribble through them because I understand the mechanics very well and can dribble my way out of situations. Obviously, with UFL, it's a new game. I probably don't, well, I don't understand the mechanics very well, but uh, I, well, I don't know. I, I don't see anything there. There's no, I don't see there's uh, any skill ceiling for dribbling at all. It's so unresponsive. The biggest problem with dribbling is you can't determine how fast you're going to dribble, what speed you're dribbling at. Uh, if you, you've only got two choices. You've got left stick, and you've got full sprint. Well, you've actually got L2, R2 as well, but that's more for moving side to side than L1 or moving backwards. But if you're sprint dribbling, you you can only you can only go one speed, and it creates the clunkiest gameplay ever because if you want to be a good dribbler, very often you have to run towards your opponent. Let's say there's 10 feet between you and your opponent. You have to run towards him and get to that kind of no man's land about six or seven feet. Uh, make up that six or seven feet distance and what you're trying to do is you're trying to bait your opponent into oh i think i can get the ball here go in for a tackle and then if they do you're quick enough you're good enough at dribbling that you'll um you'll react you'll skip by them and then you're gonna go but the way dribbling is at the moment you can't kind of set the trap like that you're just choice you're forced between full sprinting or normal left stick and what ends up happening is you either 
you either full sprint, but you can't run towards your opponent. You have to run around them. You can't dribble by them. You have to run around them like you, you like you're just pure pace abuse, which is I don't think anyone wants to play a game where you can just abuse pace. Or the second option is to just not sprint, use left stick, and slow down, and it's just results in really frustrating, unrealistic gameplay, and it just looks wrong when you're true on goal. Um, or not true on goal, but you're on a break and there's only one defender in front of you, but you can't sprint at them because if you do, your opponent's just gonna, uh, you know, you're just gonna stand there and take the ball because you can't control how you're dribbling. So I do think dribbling is the biggest factor why this game is terrible, and that's uh, that's a system that I don't think you can change very easily. Maybe maybe I'm wrong, but um, I I don't feel like. They're gonna be able to fix that, and to be fair, they they've had another, they've already had a beta, and how have they not, how have they not fixed this since the first one? That was the major kind of um criticism, and also this game's been in development for eight years. How have they? I don't understand how they've developed the game with this this issue. If they were trying to make a skill based uh football game, that was kind of their marketing pitch when it came out. People were fed up with FIFA and how you know unreliant on skill it was. They've had eight years to develop this, and what have they resulted in? They've resulted in a game where, yes, there is a, a lack of AI defending, but I'll get on to later why that doesn't mean manual defending is good. But um, there, like, there, there is some elements of, okay, we're trying to make this skill-based experience, but I really feel like there's no kind of demonstration of any ability to create mechanics that have a high skill gap so players can kind of show their skill on the pitch. I feel like at the moment it's very simple football. It's just passing in uh, triangles, and it's which is you know fine, which is what most football should be. But if your opponent's good and you're good, you need something to kind of split the difference between you. And there's no there's no skill gap between the, the dribbling, very little skill gap at the passing because passing there's no passes this sentence, which I don't think is a problem. By the way, I I would like um football game to have only one passing setting or maybe two, the, whatever the assistance is, and then a manual option. But the the passing in this game is insanely ins assisted. So there's no even like it, it it's 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 ridiculous to not have passes this sentence. Either add passes this sentence or change that one pass this sentence to be less assisted. Um. But yeah, yeah. So I was saying it, it's all it's all just simple triangles, not like triangle passes, but putting your players in triangles to pass around the pitch. Um, ab abusing pace because you can't dribble, and then the biggest factor is because. There's no AI, there's no AI defending, all right, which isn't the problem. But manual defending is not good in this game. You can't intercept the amount of times me I put a player in position and the ball just rolled by me, or my opponent has perfectly put his player in position to intercept and it just goes through them. So you like manual uh, interceptions are terrible, and then also manual tackles are terrible. When you press tackle, um, I really like FIFA's how FIFA feels when you press tackle. Uh, I like eFootball too, but I I think FIFA is the most satisfying. If if your player has high tackling stats and you go in for a tackle, they'll they'll kind of make up a bit of ground to do that tackle. Whereas in UFL, it it seems like unless the player is running directly into you, they won't. The tackle button is useless. And then at that point, why would you need the tackle button if someone runs into you? You should just take possession of the ball. You shouldn't have to press tackle. So if if a if a player is running by you and they're a foot, one foot to the right or left, maybe not one foot, maybe one and a half, two feet to the right or left, press tackle. If I feel like the defenders don't uh go in for the ball and they're like i wasn't using high rate defenders i was using 83 rate defenders i still don't think it should be that should be a factor why tackles don't work um i also also my players were my defensive midfielder particularly was terrible at interceptions he he wasn't high rated but that shouldn't be an issue for interceptions if you want to make a skill based game if you put the player in position to intercept they should just intercept it i don't care if they're Lionel messi and they put them in the path the, the, the whole point is you manually place them there and you you read your opponent and you should you should get the ball the, the interception stat should be if you don't switch into the player and the ball passes by um your ai do they go in and put their foot in to get it that's fair enough that's when high rate defender should be better but the amount of times I'm manually placing my defender in the way to intercept and they just watch the ball go by. It's ridiculous. So that's like the major issues why the, the game is uh, just bad. And if people, if people, if you criticize the game and people are saying to you, oh, you're just, you're just uh, annoyed that, you know, you can't uh, defend there. They don't have assistance. Trust me. It's, it's it, the, the lack of AI defending is good. But you can't, you don't have control over your, your defenders uh, manually. Like, I, I defend pretty manually when I play football and when I play FIFA. And that's the reason I'm not good at FIFA anymore is actually because 
you can't second man press in FIFA. Since FIFA 17 was the last one, I was top 100 in that. Since then, I'm not even a decent player. I'd probably only get like gold one, maybe elite three and foot champs. It's because you can't second man press. So if you want to manually defend, you are left so exposed if you want to bring your defenders up because you can't uh, put pressure on your on the ball and set a trap. So I don't know. I, maybe it's sound, sounding cocky, but I feel like if, there's, if, if I'm someone who is comfortable in saying if a game, a football game, sorry, has, you know, skill-based defending or not, um, the, the shooting, I didn't have major issues with the shooting. I do think keepers are definitely improved from the first beta. They're not as OP. They're still pretty strong, but um, I don't think they're they're majorly a problem. I felt like finesse shots were too strong with players that probably shouldn't be scoring finesse shots. Like uh, Mbappe was... Um, actually, do you know what? Maybe Mbappe is not a great example. Um, I don't know. I, I, do, I did feel finesse shots were still a bit too strong. I don't think it's a major issue, though. If that's how you score the goals in the game, that's, that's the... Uh, at least it's not a... At least it's not a near post shot like in uh, EAFC where you can, you know, just shoot near post and score when you should have to go across goal. Um, they do also have manual keeping, like goalkeeper movement from FC24. Uh, I don't like the implementation of it. I like the idea of manual uh, goalkeeping. It should just copy football system or at least take the idea of if you are moving your goalkeeper, a cursor goes above your head so your opponent can see straight away uh, that you're that you're um, moving the keeper. Because, in, like, it's it's it's... Not real life. You, your reaction time isn't as quick as in real life. You, if you, if a move, if a keeper moves into a corner in real life, you'll see it. As long as you look it up, you'll see it a lot quicker than if you're uh, kind of looking at a screen. And uh, yes, yeah, so I think the cursor should go up above the keeper's head to help with that. Um, the AI was terrible for a particular issue for me in the sense that um, every time I lost the ball, my defense would just push up. And um, when I was playing low rated opponents, I didn't really care or notice. But once I played players my own level. Or maybe even like like just kind of in that general area of uh, my skill level, uh, I did notice it. I went into the tactics. I didn't have any instructions that would justify. I don't think I did anyway. Justify why my as soon as we lost the ball, my DMF would push up to the halfway line pretty much and leave the uh, strikers free for a pass. And then one thing, if you've played UFL or maybe you've watched that a lot, you'll notice is um it's incredibly easy when you win the ball to just play a ping pass up to the two strikers. Excuse me, play a ping pass up to the two strikers. And start your account stacking in your two versus three or two versus two against your opponent's uh, centre backs. Like there, there, there's there's no midfield in this game. I think I think every football game is gonna struggle with the problem of not having a midfield just because of uh how short the games are. And I think um if if you have pass assist settings, the players are high rated, so their pass is gonna be good. They can get it up the pitch. And even if you don't have pass assist settings, it's not that difficult to manually play a pass up the pitch. So I think it's always gonna be a problem. So I don't think it's a mate that's an issue. But it is just something to comment uh, for people that are wondering. Um, there's an another issue is I think second man press, I'm glad it's in the game, but I just don't think it's effective enough. But that's a very small change. That's something that they can just make it more responsive uh, and they can also make it last longer. Um, I actually, I don't know if you, if you have a player with like high defensive stats or maybe it's stamina, if their second man press kind of timer runs longer. Uh, that might be the case, which is uh, probably a good thing. I didn't have enough time to get a full kind of God squad. I only had Ronaldo, Messi, uh, Zaire Emery. I think that were the three good players I had. But I didn't have, like, the rest of the players were all, like, 78, 80 rated. So uh, I wouldn't have had enough experience with the, using defenders that had high rated stats. Uh, but I did use Van de Ven. I got him on loan, and he was amazing. And it's just because he's got good pace. So overall, this game is looking like it's not going to be uh, doing anything. It's best like it's not going to touch eafc it's not going to impact eafc at all if anything efootball is going to be the loser here just because it's also free to play but i really don't think konami are going to be too worried i don't think ufl is going to be a good enough uh, experience so we'll have to see Um, he's obviously these things can change interceptions can be improved passing can be improved probably i don't think dribbling is going to be improved by this point i think it's there's too much work cut out for them